Greetings. Turn up the volume on your end. I want you to hear something. And then we'll come back and talk about it. TMZ obtained these now deleted video of a fight during Olivet Baptist Church's Sunday service. It shows a man walking up to the front row of the pews. He then begins punching another man. That brings the pastor's sermon to a halt. But today we learned this did lead to an arrest. Jamia Reed has more on that and what led up to the fight. Jamia. Josh Kim, Mount Olivet Baptist Church had their typical Sunday service. Their live stream was up and everyone was enjoying the post-Christmas service. And then things went south. It started out as a typical Sunday church service on the day after Christmas. Isaac was the son of a promise. It quickly took a turn when one church member can be seen approaching a pastor in the front row. We saw his star in the east, and we have come. This video shown on TMZ captured the punches inside Mount Olivet Baptist Church in Chattanooga. Let's watch that again. On the bottom right of your screen, you can see the man in a white t-shirt and mask walk up to the pastor in the front row. The pastor swings and misses, and then the fight continues off screen. After the video quickly went viral, Pastor Kevin Adams took to Facebook Live to address what happened. A wonderful young man, I think the world of him. According to Adams' Facebook post, the church member is going through a difficult time in his life. Just had some issues, some problems, just left rehab, just left rehab. All of us go through stuff. Chattanooga police arrested Marcus Williams and charged him with assault. As soon as the young man got back in the fellowship hall, he began to cry and he was so sorry about what he did. It was almost like he didn't even know he was there. Uh, but the damage had already been done. But Pastor Adam says it's all about forgiveness. We're going to see the young man through. Uh, he's going back, I understand, to rehab. And we're going to walk with him through that process. The arrest affidavit for Williams says he also injured a security guard who tried to escort him out of the sanctuary. Can Okay, so you all just saw it and heard it for yourself. And you also heard the pastor say that he wants, you know, he gave a lot of excuses for this young man's behavior and even indicated that he's going to walk him through his problems. Well, let me say this. Just as this young man approached, you know, another pastor and, and attacked him <clears throat> or minister, whoever that was that he attacked with his fists, it could have been a knife, could have been a sword, could have been an assault weapon such, such as a gun. <clears throat> churches are limited in what they can do. Churches are not places for mentally ill people. And so I would say that the assistant pastor or whoever that was that he attacked, that person should follow through by pressing charges and taking this all the way through the legal system. And he also should take out a restraining order. This young man should not be allowed back in the church. See, I doubt that he was born. I don't know this young man, but I'm going to tell you anyway what I think. I don't believe that he was born mentally ill. People make choices in life. And one of those choices is to start using drugs. Now, when you start using drugs, you open your, your mind up to all kinds of insanity. Your choice to be a drug addict should not impact my life. So I don't believe in making excuses for these types of people. If he has drug issues, that's his issue to work out. But for him to come to church and attack someone, um, that was scary. And the church is just not the place for that. We cannot have churches being attacked. The devil is busy. We are on demon time, but let's protect our churches. Tell me what you think.